Here's another quick progress check on what we're doing with the bike. As you can see I've done one or two more things with it. Now we've got the high mounted front mud guard on the bike here now. I've also raised the rectifier regulator up out the way a bit. Now I've made a couple of stainless steel tubes, cut them to length here and welded a small stainless steel tubular bracket on which we've painted satin black. Now the reason I've put these on the inside is the standard brackets tend to be set up for a seven inch headlight. Now this just being a six and a half the brackets need to be spaced and they don't look quite right. So I made these up as one of the few non-bolt on items on the bike just to be a little bit different and neater. Put a, a little just generally available LED headlight on with a, um, a mesh guard on it. As you can see I've been off-road on it already testing it out. A bit of mud splattering on the bike here. Now I've got the gauges on all fitted into the wiring. Now to get the wiring into the headlight we had to move some of the harness and wiring under the tank to make it a bit neater basically because it's, it's, there's not enough room in the headlight to get all the wiring in. The only thing we've had to do on the bike is we've had to put a, a CAN bus module in under the tank because the bike is fuel injected and obviously you can't run them without the clocks on without the, the module in. Um, I think we mentioned the, all the levers and that we've done. Put a set of our uh, adjustable CNC levers on. The bar end indicators are on now, there now. They're quite neat. So it gives the, the front end of the bike quite a clean look. Put a, a cover on the, the clutch cable with a, an aluminium mountain bracket and a, a cover. They're all our parts. This bracket is now, bracket, uh, the rack now at the back here is all fitted now. This just wants rubbing down and painting now. Now we're going to paint the rack and the tank the Triumph matte graphite colour, which I think will go quite well. We might paint the panels graphite as well, but I think I'll do a pair in black and a pair in graphite with contrasting stripes on them and see what they look like. Uh, foot pegs fitted a pair of our lightweight folding alloy foot pegs, which look a lot less clumpy than the standard ones, and also our drilled brake lever, a uh, gear lever, sorry. The seat's now all fitted on with the, the hook mounts underneath, and there's a neat little knurled aluminium screw on there. We just modified one of our side panel screws to fit on there. As you can see the, the base getting all ready for paint. I've started stoppering it up. And again we've put the, the lightweight footrest on, the sprocket cover and lightweight gear, drilled gear lever. Now this makes all this area of the bike look a lot neater and slimmer and compared to the clumpy standard foot pegs and uh, brake lever, it looks a lot neater. Uh, we've put a, a dual uh, metal rear sprocket on, it's alloy in the centre with a steel outer for, for hard wear on this. Uh, I get asked quite a bit what the exhaust sound like without a baffle in, so I'll start it up now and let you have a, a listen of that.
as you can hear without the baffle in it is quite loud we have got quite a rich map on there at the moment it's a it's a latest updated map for the the arrow tune to one that we use and it seems to re run really well on that but they're a bit woolly while they're cold um, I think that's about it for now then I'm going to put this out as a a first instalment part of the bike because a few people have been asking me about it and I'll do a final instalment once we've got the, the tank and side panels and rack and that painted other jobs to do we need to put some new fork springs in because the stock ones are a bit on the hard side so we're going to be putting some progressives in there I've got a sump guard to go on the bottom here under the engine obviously to protect everything when we, we do a bit of off-roading um, carb tops, we're going to do machine some tops up for the top of the carbs there. And apart from that, putting a number plate on and a rear light, we've still got a rear light, and I'm going to put a couple of little indicators in the end of the frame tubes here. Technically, I don't need to put them on, but it's it's just something else to, in case your arm gets in the way of the, the bar ends, it's nice to have a just a backup indicator on the back. Probably just put a little round tail light on, on the mudguard here. Yeah, I mean, I think the bike's got quite a good sort of retro scrambler look there now. It looks totally different from the mag wheel Bonneville that we started out with. So, if you're watching the next instalment, we'll uh, we'll show the finished article with the the new paint job and the new bits bolted on. I'm sure there's a few other bits we're going to put on that I haven't mentioned, but we'll we'll sort those out in the next video. Thanks for looking, anyway. Bye bye.